and go kill him. Yes, no chest bumps in this locality for you, asshole. Yes, front flip onto your chest. I'll dig out your soul, because here we go. So that's 53, you guys. We got seven more. Three of them, no. Four of them are in other places, but the last three are actually in the Cave of Ordeals. And like I said, we might do that after the game, but I think we might actually do that before the end of the game. And I'll just speed it up and then say what enemies are in there, or, or something to that effect, because... In all honesty, it's not a difficult, like, area. I mean, the later ones do get a little bit difficult. It, the, oh, the difficulty is slightly overrated, to say the least. And, all right, let's see if we can get him. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So with that being said and done, we, um, he's already just teleported. And uh, what is this room? Oh, is this? Where the hell does this go? Is that just where we, that is, that isn't where we came from. I forgot what that room was for, whatever. So now we have to go back up to the middle floor, and you remember those two stones we had to bring up the first time? When the, and the first time we went in that room, we got a small key. The one I said we were referring to. I'm just repeating myself now. We're actually going to want to go ahead and um, go back to that one, because new things will have appeared there. So while this is moving, uh, i got to get my coffee, you guys. got to get my coffee. Mm. Uh, oh, you guys, that was just so good. I'm talking so much, like, I don't even know. I think I'm thinking about recording another project here pretty soon, like another short one. And I don't know how it's gonna turn out because it's kinda it's like a it's like a ROM hack almost, but I don't usually do those kinds of things. Like the only thing remotely close I've done to that was the Incubus Incub Battle. <laughs> you guys remember that? I don't usually do those like mini games, but it's kind of I don't wanna spoil it because it's pretty cool and it's fairly new. It's been in the works for almost three years, which is an impressive feat in my opinion. And um I really want to kind of showcase it, even though, like like I said, this channel doesn't exactly get the most exposure or whatever. It still kind of would be nice to kind of show it off for the people who haven't seen it yet. And it's not a very well-known thing, which, from what I've played and seen of it, it is fantastic for how long it's been in development. It is great. It, I would buy that game if I could. Like, if there's, like, a donation thing, I would probably do it. So we're going to head into this room. And like I said, there's another chest that's there, but once we come in- Oh my god! They're spreading the infection! You assholes. Wait, I want to try something. Eradication of your- Yeah! Yeah, screw you guys. I hate you so much. Yes, go towards the spinny thing and reap your- Ouch! How did I- Okay, you know what? Screw you guys. We're gonna just- Yes, yes, yes. Suck it. Suck it and see, baby. Yeah. Hellcat sha la 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 God, you guys- Listen to the Arctic Monkeys. That song is so good. Like, there's this shirt I saw online, and it's just like Alex Turner's face, and it's like sha la 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 la. And I don't know. I really like it. I might wear it one of these days if I buy it. It's like 25 bucks, and it's in the UK though. So I don't know. Not to say that 25 bucks is like something to scoff at, but still. Um, so we're gonna head up here now, where you guys recall we got the red rupee. And now that we have the Dominion Rod, you might not have noticed this, but there's actually this dude here. We can go ahead and co uh, control this guy to step on some uh, fairly concealed switches, I guess. Not something that is easy to miss, but at the same time, it's you could. And then we're gonna have to do the same thing to the right side. However, there's not a statue waiting there prior to our visit there from Clarksville. So we're gonna have to indulge it with a present of our own. And wow, you just did the most... <laughs> he was able to jump off with that. Oh! Foot physics! Oh! On the chest, baby! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Yeah! Oh man, and then the foot physics and Jack and Daxter are the non essential ones, I should say. So let's actually continue on, shall we? Enough dicking around and wow. Fine, we'll do it your way, game. This isn't Burger King, but here, take it! Yes, that is how you like it. Uh, I'm gonna head over here and then do the exact same thing to make the chest reappear, of course, and this is completely optional, so you don't have to bypass your way. But if you want to get a certain thing that will increase your health, in, in, I guess, quarterly rotations and fits, or what is that? It's not quarterly, it's not sexual, sexually, whatever, in fifths, as you guys can already have imagined. Here we've got something very special, something very beneficial to our interests. We got another heart piece, and Link is so surprised even after I built it up to that moment. So with that, we've basically completed the dungeon sands of the very first room of this game, where unlike other temples in the Zelda franchise, there is actually not really much else to be said about that. So... Uh, how, that is the room where we first came in. Screw this, we're jumping off there. I don't want to deal with that swirly twirly death of area again. So we can head over this way. And I don't know what that thing over there did. That switch that we put down where that, uh, where that pose soul was. But we're going to head back over here and we're going to continue. Oh, we're not quite to the first room there. We're getting there. We're getting there. And and the the puzzles get only simpler from here on out, so I don't know about you guys. Here we got the keys, go screw yourself. Over here you'll notice that thing is there, but you also notice there's another claw shot on the ceiling. Woo! So with that being said and done, 
Uh, actually, let's go summon our buddy here. Hey, how about giving us a hand, or I guess in your, in your case, a hammer. So, yes, hammer to fall. There ain't no queen in this locality, but we'll still take it and die. Yeah, screw you. I will bathe in your tears because they taste so sweet. We're going to head back down over here. And this part is a little bit annoying because of how we're walking here. But, of course, with the slants and the walls and stuff, we can still get them to get a little bit of distance on ourselves. Come on, there we go. All right. Because, of course, he'll just go in whatever direction. Wow, he goes down those stairs like a boss. Oh, man, over here again, we can... Um, destroy this thing but without hopefully hurting us so we'll, we'll do it like right over there all right cool very nice so we're gonna go ahead and uh i guess we we don't really have to destroy it so we're gonna go ahead and head over here spirits of mercy taking me with you no i want to go with you to make things a little bit easier not that it has to be a little bit easier so of course um this dominion rod is a little bit uh limited in its abilities um it, we can't use it outside of this temple quite yet you guys will see what i mean about that later but we're gonna head back into this room and this is uh the almost clown room this is the top floor of the clown room and it always reminds me of bowser's what's his thing called his not his speeder i know there's a certain a very certain word that he calls it but it's not speed or anything or zoom or whatever so without all being said and done we're gonna head over here. see look at it it looks exactly like it it's like what do you think nintendo so we're gonna head over here activate him and put him on the switch and of course this will lead us to the boss room and it's just like oh man if this thing had been here in the first place we would have been scot-free for the rest of the game but as as with every single other zelda game the dungeon item is required to kill the boss in this area and this boss again recycled i want i don't want to say recycled but he might as well have been and it's kind of nice because it's been what uh eight years seven years since the last time we've seen it or well, i guess unless if you're counting certain segments of uh uh, Wind Waker, then maybe not, but we're gonna head over here and ignore all the. Oh, not quite ignore all the. Whoa, whoa, screw you! We're getting out of here. We have to actually collect this buddy here. And what's kind of funny is, ow! This will be a martyr for his cause. Now, these guys are annoying because I forgot he was there. So come on, come over here before the guillotine comes back. Damn it! You are so. Come on, there it is. Alright, now we don't have to kill that other one. I don't think there's any real reason to, but we might as well. Uh, all right, screw that. He doesn't see us. We don't care about him. So we're going to have to take this martyr over here. And I guess if you're too young to know what a martyr is, then I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but a martyr ain't one. So we're going to drop this guy right over here. Now, this kind of works like that, as you guys recall that part. Now, oh my god. Okay, I kind of want to try that trick now. I kind of want to try it now. I want to stay here. Now, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to actually use the dominion rod in order to move him out of the way. So we're going to go do this. And let's, oh damn it, we can't really do it, can we? But we actually have to kill our buddy. He has to, he has to die for us to get through this temple. What a poor, sad day in, in Zelda history. The martyr statue, <laughs> dead against his will. <laughs> so over here, again, we've got arrows and things that we need to beat the boss. But of course, we've got another fairy here. And I, let's see, we've got urine, we've got pure urine, we've got fairy's tears, and we've got another fairy. I don't think, I think we're good for now. I don't think we really need anything else in this area, so we'll go ahead and not collect you. Unfortunately, Navi, go, go, pre procreate. Oh, 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 yes, fairy sex. That is how we like it. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, let's go. Wasn't aren't our, aren't our fairies like females? This makes me feel like a generic kokiri or kokiri. I don't know how you pronounce. It. I always say kokiri or however else I used to say it. But Kokiri was never in my... Or Deku. People say Deku and I say Deku. I feel so stupid when everyone else pronounces it differently. But hey, I pronounce things differently. I like saying Ilo Milo. I like saying Deku. I like saying other random things. But in here we've got this giant room baby. With giant statues that are very reminiscent of something I've seen in another game. But I can't exactly put my nose on it. So we're going to... Oh my god. Where did that light go, man? Uh oh. Oh my... Oh my god! It's... It's... It's Goma, you guys, again. And he's got a giant eye, so he's like Ongo Bongo. Here we've got the Twilight Arachnid Armagoma. Yeah, Armagoma out of here! All right, so with that being said and done, what we're gonna have to do is look at the ceiling, and I had the wrong thing equipped. Now you'll notice where he's blocking the sunlight, so if you don't see light there, that's where he is, so you're gonna wanna watch out, so he's gonna shoot that stuff. Now, wherever he falls, you're gonna wanna go ahead, activate the Dominion Rod on that thing, and then kill it! Look at that! That is vicious! Look at that! That should absolutely demolish this thing! And we hit it three times! So, with it, whatever. So, here, now, basically the same thing. Um, but this time, he's going to send out his little twerps to do his bidding, his coffee spiders, and they're really annoying. So, we're going to be a little bit careful because uh, he does get a little bit annoying. So, wait. 
Oh, come on. And they actually have to animate him, like, shitting at the little babies. And you want to be careful, because you can't kill those guys upon spawning there. You have to wait for them, so... What we're actually going to want to do is just kill this guy, hopefully. Come on, shoot your laser. Fire... Oh, fine. So, you can actually use your... These guys usually will spawn to flock to us. Come on. There's no flock of seagulls here, but we'll still kill you. There, all right. So, where is this guy? All right, so he's over there. And, okay, not that. Okay, screw you. All right, now we can actually block this with our Hylian shield, which is kind of funny. Wow, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Oh, game, you're funny. You're you are a funny fellow game. Oh, man, so I'm going to kill this dude. All right, cool. Same thing. Dominion rod time on your admin. Just look at this. Look at that. That looks absolutely ferocious. Like, how much damage he's doing. Like, it's not even funny. Like, it's a little funny. But it's not that funny. So we're going to actually head over here. You know, what's a little bit funny is that some... Okay, we can't do it on that one. You can't get behind one of these statues. And it's and when it what's kind of funny about that is that you can actually kill all those stupid goma larvae. Which one did I go behind last time? Was it this one? <laughs> you can go behind this one. And they'll all flock to you, if you guys remember. And we can actually, like, kill them. But it actually does way less damage than you would expect. So when they're going to come this way, um, you can't control these things, unfortunately. You can go ahead and kill them like that. Look at that. It doesn't kill them. Like, they're being, like, lifted in the air. Like, it killed some of them, but it didn't kill all of them. So that automatically makes your, uh, oh, 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 wrong weapon. Wrong weapon. Come on, can you take out your sword, please? Okay, I'm still controlling that, apparently. I, can we stop controlling this? Thank you. Okay, that was unnecessarily long because that's what she said. Because that was stupid. Wow. All right, there. So, okay. Let's... Wait, wait, are you going to miss me again? Okay, fine, whatever. We'll take it. Your buddy hit me. Okay, we don't want this anymore. We want that. All right, let's kill this guy without failing, shall we? All right, so last time, of course, three is the magic number, so we're going to kill you. You guys, we just killed Arkagoma or whatever. Uh, yeah, Armagoma. Yeah, Armagoma out of here. Armagoma out of here, you guys. Yes. So, yes, so badass. Oh, what the? <laughs> Link's expression. Oh, my God. You asshole. Wait, he's not dead yet. Oh, come on. That's like the queen of all... You're kidding me. So what's kind of funny is we can use a bomb arrow to kill it, but we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. We're actually going to be a badass about it, so we're going to go ahead and uh, target it. And all right, You know what? Screw this. We're doing a mortal draw on your ass. Hey, come over here. Come over here. I want to... Fine, whatever. We're not going to mortal draw you. Let's just do it the old-fashioned way. The old ball and chain, baby. The old ball and chain. I wonder if we can do this. I haven't actually tried it, but... Because I know... Ow. All right, screw you, guys. This, this isn't going to work, you guys. This is, uh, no improvising in Let's Plays, Ellison, please. So with this all being said and done, we can go ahead and shoot the little bitch that decided to survive. <laughs> wow, all of a sudden we're, like, right next to it and <laughs> dancing in the dead tears of the enemies. So with this... Armagoma is dead. God, Armagoma just sounds so funny, like Armageddon. It's like there ain't no Bruce Willis here. What are you guys talking about? It's always like, oh my god. That's a is a another mirror fragment. So that's pretty cool. I was almost gonna say shadow shard or something. Three of the mirror shards are ours. Yes, they are. Just one left. Yeah, that's right, you guys. There is actually only one left. I completely forgot about that. Allison. Yes. You saw how nasty that monster was, right? Well, yeah, it was a goddamn spider. I think I am judicial in the formal announcement across 100% of the human population. That is the most nastiest monster we've ever seen in our life. And the fact that it procreated coffee spiders made it even worse. The evil within the shards is more powerful than you can imagine. Yes, we've been through this multiple times. We've seen Yetta, and we've seen Ganondorf, so we all know how that can turn out to be. You know... We could be assembling something truly terrible here. You got that right. It could be something that we'll ultimately have to destroy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Way to make things a little bit kind of obvious there, Midna. So here we got another portal. We have to hurry. Let's find the last shard, Ellison. So somehow she's able to create like a teleporter pad here, despite the fact that we're hundreds of years in the past. Hmm. We have to reach the sky. That's where the last shard is supposed to be. Like, wait, are you kidding me? I don't even know where to start. How do we get into the sky? This sounds very strange. Wait a second, Uku and Shad? Wait, Shad was talking about the sky, wasn't he? He's, he's the fourth person. Let's go ahead and pick this up. There's a bunch of just random arrows over there. And we got a heart container, you guys. We got 16 hearts, which means we're very, very close to the end. And I got a message here. Uh, oh, it's from the hero feed. They were tweeting me. They were tweeting my Rocksmith video. 
So let's go ahead and talk to her. I'll get you out of here. You're sure there's nothing else you want to do, right? Yes, I'm pretty sure. And even if there was, we could come back here if we felt like it. So I think we're good here, Midna. Thanks. We took care of spiders. I don't know why this temple had to have a whole bunch of spiders. It reminds me of the spider cave in Jack and Daxter. You guys probably haven't seen it. Well, you might have. I was thinking about just purging those uploads whenever. So we're not going to save quite yet. Because we're not out of the woods. Literally, we're not out of the barren woods yet. So here we are back in the sacred grove. Sacred Grove. That just sounds so Irish. So now we're going to head back, you guys. And I don't know why I put away my Dominion Rod, but we're going to do that. We don't need that for a while. Now, this next part is going to be a while before we actually get to the sky. There's going to be kind of a lot of things we're going to want to do. And uh, in doing those things, we're probably going to want to indulge ourselves in a lot of the game secrets, which means that there's a lot of things we actually have to do still. So before we leave, um, we're going to head over here, and we're going to go ahead and grab this and move it out of the way. There's nothing you can really do with it. It's just like randomly is there like a Russian doll. So we're going to go in here in this. <laughs> is this where the altar boys lost their innocence? Just kidding. And when we head in here, you guys, we got another piece of heart. You guys, that is awesome. We are just bathing in the hearts right now. And not like the Yeto and Yetta hearts of incestuality, but still. It, it, it is beautiful, you guys. And over here, as you can imagine, the same thing. But when we move it, oh my god, it's a... Oh, it's like, I am free. I'm a clean, clean post spirit. I know now the terrors of what I've done. And I plan to negotiate the... Wow, the terms of our agreement here. Yes, yeah, screw... Wow, did I really go through it and chest bump the back of that statue? Screw you, Poe. I hate you. We're going to sing Oasis at your funeral, and you're going to like it. As if that was a bad thing, but I don't think I don't want Oasis playing at my funeral. So you guys what? So now that that's done, we can't control those other huge statues. Because if we did, then we would just wreak havoc among the world. Well, actually, I don't know. Can we? I don't. Th I think I did try it. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't make those our hoes. So yeah, it's just a couple of pimps, no hoes. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna head out through the door. Into the light world, into the true light area. God, that would be so weird, like, living there. Like, it always reminds me of that thing in Dragon Ball Z. What was that called? The time capsule? It's, like, where they went to go train for, like, three years, and it'd only be, like, a day in real life. Well done, adventure! Oh, wait, I forgot about you, Uku. Uku sees what she was looking for! Goodness, yes, it's the Dominion Rod you found in the temple! But that thing has been around for quite some time. I can see from here that its magic has been exhausted. That's not the Dominion Rod there, Uku. <laughs> Oh, what might? I thought at last I could return to the sky. And I've completely forgotten the spell that would once again bestow it with magic. It can't be helped. I suppose I'll just have to look for the statues that respond to the rod. Or you can find a specific kind of statue and I can help you, uh, you know, maintain the magic of said rod. <laughs> it's decided. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do indeed. Well, is on away. See you again. Wait, where are you going? I thought you were going to hang out with us. Looks like you only want me for my rod. Hey, wait, what did you do to the Dominion Rod? Oh, she's gone. I suppose a useless rod is really just more baggage, but what are you going to do? Yes, this is a video game. We have no capacity except for rupees for whatever reason. We can carry this heavy ball and chain in our pocket. We can carry vast multitudes of other random miscellaneous items, but rupees, oh no, that is the bane of our existence. Hmm, did she just say something about returning to the sky? Yeah, she said that multiple times, man. The last piece of the mirror is also set to be in the heavens. No, in the sky. The heavens are completely separate from the sky. There's people who, you know, worship the heavens, but they don't worship the sky. That's completely something else. Worship. Which reminds me of those people from, like, Oregon or wherever. Yes, going to wash my clothes in Washington. So, yes, maybe it'll come in handy. Yeah, did you not see it just, like, complete this entire area for us, basically? Well, that's all basically we're going to do for this part. Um, I think this is probably going to be three episodes by the time you guys see this. This is going to be episode 55. Oh, man. This is already almost as long as Lenoir. And we're kind of close to the end, but this is probably going to be our large, longest project yet, yeah, which is kind of weird because you'd expect... Never mind. I don't know. Well, this game has maintained its longevity, so we don't have the Dominion Rod anymore. I thought she took it, but apparently not. So we're going to go ahead and head off to Kakariko Village next. And that's actually what we're going to do in the next part because there's nothing really left for us here. Also, we're going to be collecting a ton of other stuff before then and doing a lot of things, including restoring Ilya's memory, our girlfriend, in case you guys forgot like I did multiple times. So my name is Elson Cruz. And uh, when did we take damage? Oh, stupid Poe. Um, my name is Elson Cruz. And I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And have a great day, you guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh.